you guys may have heard of the story coming out of Ferguson of a cop, a correctional officer, that was accused of raping a pregnant woman while she was in the jail. Well, this man has now been arrested. He is a 29-year-old correctional officer in Ferguson, and his name is Jarris Hayden, J-A-R-I-S-H-A-Y-D-E-N. And he's been so far released on a $10,000 bail. Now I can guarantee you, after word and everything starts to spread about this, people are going to be trying to hunt this guy down as well. Now, the victim is only known as JW, was pulled over and did lie and was taken to jail for giving false identification, but was visibly pregnant. Well, the cop took her in there and kept giving her remarks like you smell good and he also said this will teach you a lesson she was visibly pregnant and started crying and begged to be let go and Hayden allegedly said to her that she was the kind of girl that would get him in trouble anyway he took her down to the boiler room unbuttoned his pants and told her that she was going to perform oral sex on him afterwards it says that Hayden went to bend the pregnant woman over and indicated that he was going to have intercourse with her. She went to the emergency room after all of this, and I guess they took DNA, found his pubic hair, and it matched, and it's been confirmed that it was Hayden. This man raped a woman in the Ferguson jail, a pregnant woman. And then tried to let her out the back door and say, go this way, avoid the cameras, we'll act like nothing ever happened, like you never got arrested. Well, now she is suing for all of this damage, anxiety, um, you name it. She's, she's suing for it. And they're trying to tie it in. The suit also focuses on the general police brutality in Ferguson, including the recent shooting of Michael Brown. So they're tying it right in along with that too. Just wanted to do the update on it. The guy is, has been arrested, but he's released. So he's out there on $10,000 bail and he's due in court December 3rd. So from now till December 3rd, the next few weeks, this guy's free on the streets out there somewhere unless he skips court. Or whatnot, but he looks to be fried on this unless the streets catch him first. I guess he'll be fried there too. Spindabu seven.